Hmm, what beer do I want to try next? Beer time, it's beer time with the beer man. beautiful here in Oregon for me so I am just loving it I would have gone outside but the bugs are just all over the place and I just didn't want to deal with it so I'm indoors tonight so as you see or actually it was kind of hard to see um, this is Founders Brewing Company they're out of Grand Rapids Michigan um, it's a robust porter six and a half percent it was bottled on 9518, which is about eight months old. So I want, I'm really curious as to, uh, you know, how it's going to be. Um, not that that's bad, but maybe it's okay that it's aged that long in the bottle. You know, I don't know. It's just, it's always good to, you know, try it, see what happens. <laughs> on a Beer Advocate, they got 4.2 stars for this beer, so I'm assuming it's a fairly good one. Six and a half percent for a porter, a robust porter at that, so not bad. Let's go ahead and uh, open her up. And a little bit of smoke there. Just pick this glass up. My other one broke, so I thought this was a nice addition to my collection. So, let's just get the rest of it. Got it. So we have a nice two and a half finger head pushing three. Let's go ahead and smell. Just a nice, oh, there's good chocolate. There's good chocolates. There's, uh, there's a good chocolate smell in that. A classic porter smell, but sweeter and sweeter and more. It's got some caramel notes in there. Some, some more, a little more robust malts coming out of this. Even a little coffee, a little coffee for sure. Coffee with that uh, nice dark chocolate kind of flavor, it's kind of nice. That's, this smells great. Let's go ahead and look at it. So it was about almost pushing three. We're still at about two and a half or so now. So after about a minute or so, it's only gone down a at most half an inch head retentions beautiful very nice and uh, a good probably a good little uh, let's see what the carbonations like it's a uh, medium to fast rise uh, medium rising bubbles let's say and the uh, foam is it's kind of a cocoa color it's got kind of a tight foam head um, there's some sm bigger bubbles in there the lacing on the glass looks pretty nice so far it's uh, sticking quite well um, really liking this. The, the foam looks really nice. The head is just really, it's really beautiful. Nice, co like, like I said, nice cocoa. And that head is just really nice. The, the head is really, uh, just real tight and, um, tight bubbly. It's so nice, like I was saying, you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's dark. It's opaque. You can't see it through it. It's definitely black. Uh, black, possibly even just a real dark brown. I can't really see what's going on but I can't see through it at all um, let's go ahead and drink yeah dark roastiness like a, not even a um, just a nice darker caramel kind of uh, sweet uh, texture to it just that sweet um, and then that rich, dark chocolate, um, that rich, dark, it's like a dark, unsweetened chocolate kind of flavor with the, um, it's got some, uh, a bit of espresso, uh, 
bitterness in there, that nice earthy coffee kind of espresso likeness in there. Classic porter taste, but more pronounced, sweeter. Um, you're getting more, your caramels are coming out more, your, your uh, robust uh, malts in there are starting to shine. It's got a bit of a, a bitterness in the back. Dryness starts after that. So it's got a dry, bitter, dry finish. Um, as it, it, right before it goes to the waterfall, it doesn't go down anymore, it just dries off. A little bit wet past and then it dries off. You don't really, you're not totally annoyed by any off flavors or anything like that. It's um, actually very tasty. It was eight months old and it's actually very tasty. So, awesome. Excuse the Harley Davidson crazy man. Excuse the Harley Davidson crazy man. In my street. So, lacing, the lacing uh, going down, it's very sticky, very viscous as well. Uh, and sticky and uh, kind of almost, uh, ooh, maybe resinous even. Like the sticky thickness. Just crazy. I'm getting that. And it's, it shows on the side of the glass. I mean, it just totally sticks. It's got kind of a, a thick, syrupy kind of uh, look to it. It falls slowly on the side and then stays. It's really nice. I'm digging this beer. Out of five hops, I give it five hops. Five hops, man. This is great. This is fantastic. It's definitely something I would buy again. My wife would love this very much. She loves porters and stouts and stuff. All right, so um, I just wanted to do uh, a little, uh, I guess, a little thanks and an appreciation thing to all my subscribers. I wanted you to know that uh, I appreciate you and I thank you all very much for helping me to, uh, to get to my uh, 100 mark. Um, I'm actually at 101 now. <laughs> cool. But um, it's getting there. <laughs> it's such a hard, long journey, but it'll get there eventually. But you guys all made that happen. So uh, thank you so uh, much for watching. You. And for your support, please comment and let me know what you think about this beer and anything else for that matter. Hey, I like talking back to y'all. It's fun. I love seeing the comments. Um, and uh, please subscribe. Hit that bell for more. And I will uh, definitely appreciate that. Then you'll see when I uh, put new shows up. You know? And uh, hit the like button. Come on. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Cheers. Peace. I'm out.